Good morning! Welcome on this fifth Sunday of Easter. It's also Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all you who celebrate. As we um, gather together and give people a few minutes to check in, um, you may have seen in the Friday email my little article about us being foster parents for a cat. Um, we also have three of our own cats, and as it turns out, one of our cats, this one walking through right here, can't tell one orange cat from another orange cat, so he's just yelling at every cat he encounters. So if you hear some disturbing cat sounds, don't be alarmed. No one's hurting each other. Everyone's just making announcements that there's cats in the house that should not be there. Also, if you're interested in adopting a cat, <laughs> he's a great guy. Maybe he'll show up and um, we'd be happy to, to introduce you somehow. There it is. Thanks to Natalie and Thomason, of course, my favorite things about Mother's Day. And to Phil Carson, our cameraman, AV extraordinaire, <laughs> top guy. Um, the kids are going to provide some music today. Good morning to Dave and Sarah and Kate and Sandy and Christine and Clara. Oh, hi, Aunt Clara. And I love when my relatives show up. And Beth and Michelle, so glad to see all of you this morning. <laughs> Aunt Clara is also my godmother. Happy Mother's Day, Godmother. And great to uh, be with Libby and Fan who are on the phone as well. I'm glad we're able to make this Facebook platform accessible for, for more people. Good morning, Barbara and Ray and the Newman's dog and Chris. <laughs> glad to see you're all here. We have a lot to thank God for today, so... Um, as we get started, I first want to remind you that if you have any graduates in your household, if you or somebody in your household is graduating from high school or graduate school or college or professional degree, we want to know about it so that we can celebrate it um, at the end of the month. So get those names and um, the name of the place from where they are graduating to Lauren at the office. Um, if you don't get our Friday email, I really hope you sign up for it and tell your friends as well. That's where you'll find all the links that you need for our online worship and community for the week, including links to Zoom events like all the youth events that are coming up for the Friday p.m. happy hour. Did you know that every Friday at 5 o'clock you can come and spend some social time with your friends? Um, the Wednesday evening community prayer as well as all the church school and family events that are coming up as well. There's a lot going on online virtually, so please stay connected as best you can and invite your friends to join us as well. We're going to start today. Oh, Harry's in sunny Florida. Harry, you lucky guy. It's uh, 42 degrees here this morning. Um, today, um, we have a, a special song about a special mother. And it's a song that um, we all love, and today we're going to sing it. Natalie's going to play, and we're going to sing.
been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips, <coughs> and, and our, our mouths shall proclaim, proclaim your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise Christ, our Passover, Passover has been sacrificed for us. us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. First reading is from Peter. Like newborn infants, long for the pure spiritual milk, so that by it you may grow into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the good Lord is good. Come to him, a living stone, though rejected by mortals, yet chosen and precious in God's sight. And like living stones, let yourself be built into a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scripture, See, I am laying in Zion, a stone, a con cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. To you, then, who believe, he is precious. For those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the very head of the corner, and a stone that makes them stubble, and a rock that makes them fall. They stumble because they disobey the word, as they were destined to do. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people, in order that you may proclaim the mighty acts of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Once you were not a people, but now you are God's people. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Today's psalm is Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. <coughs> Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe. For you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant, and in your loving kindness save me. This is a reading from the Gospel of John. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. 
Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, from now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and still do you not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, but if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. <clears throat> Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The song that we sang to open our service this morning, Let It Be by the Beatles, was written, of course, by John Lennon and Paul McCartney. And Mary was the name of Paul McCartney's mother. He wrote the song in honor of her. And in the creating of the song and in the, in the uh, listening of the song, all were thinking of the other Mother Mary, Jesus's mother. And of course, it works in the same kind of way that Paul McCartney is talking about his mother who prepared him for life, who prepared him for adulthood, and we also can hear the story in there of how Mary had prepared Jesus for his ministry as well. And on this Mother's Day, which is a day that can be kind of fraught for some people, it can be filled with grief, it can be filled with anger, it can be filled with joy and, and um, be a good day for most, but not for all. And it's a day when we think about parenthood and how it is that we care for each other and prepare each other for the world, how it is that God provides for us as children through our parents and for the world. This piece of scripture that we heard from the gospel, from John's gospel, is a piece that I read often at funerals. It's a piece that is quite comforting when we think about Jesus going and preparing a place for us to be together, a place with many dwelling places where there's room for everybody, where Everyone is expected to be there in one day and that we will all be together in this place where God dwells, where Jesus is preparing it for us. And Thomas, Doubting Thomas, the one who just a few weeks ago was not sure about the truth of Jesus' resurrection, again is telling it the way he sees it. He says to Jesus, how can we know where you're going if we don't know the way? He's quite literal. He's quite concrete in the way that he hears these things and I don't think he appreciates Jesus' metaphors most of the time. And Jesus tells him, I am the way. I am the way to find me. If you follow what I do, if you do the things that I've told you to do, if you behave in the way that I behave, then you will find yourself in this place with many dwelling places, in this place where we can all be together in God's house. That is not unlike what it is to be prepared for life by a parent. If you've had a good, competent, strong, loving parent, we've all been prepared. And sometimes we find that we aren't. Sometimes we wonder if we are ready for this life, if we have made it to adulthood by accident. But here we are, and we can lean on those lessons that might have been subtle in our childhood, but yet are coming to us now. And we find ourselves hearing the words that our mother said to us, just as Paul McCartney heard the words of his mother in his mind, in his adulthood, we can hear them in our minds as well. And if we didn't have a strong, capable, loving parent, we have the love of Jesus to teach us the way, to teach us the ways that we are to call on God for help, to teach us the ways that we are to care for one another, to show empathy and show compassion and care for those all around us. So when Thomas says, how can we know where you're going when we don't know the way, we know the way. We know the way to find Jesus. We know the way to be reunited with those that we've loved before. We know the way, and we can trust that God has provided that way for us through relationships that we have here while we're on earth, 
through our prayer and through the scripture, through our understanding of what it is to be a Christian in this world and how we can care for one another. So even though it's tempting to be like Thomas, to question everything Jesus says, and to wonder if he could possibly just give us a straight answer once in a while, Jesus tells us through his behavior and through our life together that we know the way to the Father, that we know the way to find eternal life, and that through the lessons that we've learned, through the subtleties that have brought us to who we are today, we can then be the ones that teach others in this next generation on how to find ways to compassion, how to find ways to service, and how to find ways to a, a new kind of life with God. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them, now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. We pray this day for all in our lives, and I ask for your prayers in the comments this morning. We pray for the sick and recovering. We pray for Melanie. Justin, Sarah, Ryan, Dominique, Jackie, Connor, Tim, Nate, Ted, David, Joanne, Matthew, Judith, Larry, Helene, Morris, Laura, Carol, Steve, Mary, Michelle, Wilson, Helen, Stephen, Lois, Josie, Isabel, John, Sean, Eleanor, Tom, Brian, Richard, Lisa, and Dave. We pray for residents in assisted living and skilled nursing communities and all those who care for them, for all medical personnel, first responders, scientists, policymakers, essential employees, and all who are working during the COVID pandemic. And we pray for all who are suffering from COVID-19. Pray for Bud, who grieves the loss of his wife. Pray for Al. We pray for all who are far from home, for Bill, for Noah, for Bryce, Michael, Victoria, Josh, Paul, Amanda, Andrew, Benjamin, Kevin, Tyler, Ellie, Caitlin, Nick, Peter, and Colin. We pray for those who have died. We pray for Betty Ouellette and Diane D'Souza. And we give thanks this day for the birth of Maximus Olanian Isaacs, son of Paul and Linda Isaacs. And for Caleb James Weber, son of Pastor Leslie Scanlon Weber and Jacob Weber.
Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life. Grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, Heavenly Father, you have blessed us with the joy and care of children. Give us all calm strength and patient wisdom as we bring them up, that we may teach them to love whatever is just and true and good, following the example of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son had nowhere to lay his head, grant that those who live alone may not be lonely in their solitude, but that following in his steps they may find fulfillment in loving you and their neighbors through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, we your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our postlude is brought to us by Jim today. See you all in coffee hour. Thanks.